Revelation 2446. A. From the 11th of August 1942. Wisdom without love unthinkable. Imperishable knowledge. In order to become wise the human being must absolutely stand in love, love work must necessarily precede it if the human being wants to receive divine wisdom. Wisdom without love is unthinkable, which is why people who think they are wise will err, uh, if they lack love. This is the first thing that has to be taken into account if the fellow human being wants to make a right judgment about the value or unvalue of what the human being believes to possess in knowledge. Wisdom can only be expected where the originator, the giver of it, is wise himself. Where wisdom can be imparted because the giver himself is wisdom. Hence all wise thoughts are emanations from the one who is love in himself which is why these thoughts must also be received by a loving heart again, because otherwise they would not be perceived as wisdom. For wisdom is something spiritual which, in turn, can only be received by the spirit in the human being, but the spirit in the human being only starts to function if it is stimulated to do so by loving activity. Without love everything is dead, also the alleged knowledge which then only touches earthly things without spiritual value or is erroneous knowledge, which can never be addressed as wisdom. People can certainly call worldly knowledge their own which also corresponds to the truth but which only touches on things which are completely unessential for the soul, that is for its higher development, yet this knowledge is extinguished at the moment of death, thus it is transient and without value for eternity but only this will be considered knowledge before the world, because it can be proven with evidence, thus it is to a certain extent inviolable. Spiritual knowledge, however, is not recognized because no evidence can be produced for it. Yet only the person who calls spiritual knowledge his own is wise, for he takes it with him into eternity. Unselfish activity of love earns him wisdom because both are divine and what comes from God can never ever pass away. The more intimately the human being unites with God through loving activity the more knowledgeable he has to become, because divine gifts flow to him which are not offered in a limited way but can be received without limitation, and thus the human being becomes wise because he lives in love. Amen.